Okay. 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 Sabi and Anuma, I woke Ruma, and then painful. I woke Rumano, ye yimania, ye the crew bear day, ye the bay. Satanic for why ye be a hot chair, mimic to me from a wa. I catch you as a Namo Yano, many no, but why ye be a bonny be a soda. No mum, Sabi, which you may imagine or would me that wood in one, but to me from also when your tap bill, what the bar or chain, what the chain. In the Atlantic four, one more, one more, you want your community. A son said, Need to move your manuso, a sea away and an ass in tea. Need to unfold so, only away I am hunger. What by no, may I have a semi fee? We're training in Kofu Bemi and Sam. I see, I was our word, you know, or your juma. I haven't can yet maybe a chuckle business, the yea, you train me, yea, we. So I'm going to be a fool. No more concerning we are. Other should be doing now. Omo nene transi ene ne kasa. Omo has sorted out. Omo tu ene ka. Oba a community in kafe as nuko. Demi time oba no. U mobi a. Bande because of Atlantic need to empty. Wa from bumbu a wokru me ina. So uye leblo. Ubi kura water. Flowers so. Ye tu ene ka. All right, so that's Chieftaincy in Ewoya. Uh, I'm talking about close to the Mankesim area. Uh, <laughs> so we're coming into the studio since we're speaking the local dialect. So what essentially was he saying? So he was saying that, I mean, since the company came in there about seven years ago, mm. uh, they've employed some of the indigents there, and uh, they feel, they see that at least there's some improvement. He was saying that there are people who are into production of charcoal. Mm. So once the company has come in there, they've trained some of them who were not skilled okay. so that they could they could be employed in there. And they've been actually they've been employed. He said in his house he has three people okay. uh, who have been employed there. People are, are I mean their livelihoods have changed. Mm. Um, he told me that look, the company is a good a good uh, social partner because ever since they came, whatever they need, they call them and they do it. But they have a request that once government is negotiating all of these, mm. that is the lithium the, deals yes. with different entities. No, I mean with with Atlantic. Yes, yeah, so I'm I'm saying that government like Parari, AV, yeah. and others, mm -hmm. and with them as well, yeah. they, they want something done. Exactly. What what do they that want? Once government has been able to increase royalties from five to ten percent, mm -hmm. free carried interest from ten to thirteen percent. Right. Of course, you can't keep the community levy at 1%. Okay. They are demanding for at least 3%. For the community. Exactly. So mm. he said so. I went to another community, which is like uh, about, I think, 15 minutes drive from Ewea. It is called Krofu. You know, the lithium affects about five communities. So Ewea is one. Ewea's name is out. So it's actually mm. present no. in those communities. Exactly. The five years. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It spreads. A way I, I was told has the highest land size. Okay. That's why the name is there. I think the mine is going to be established around a way. I went okay. to the site myself right. to see what, and I saw geo drill. Okay. I saw, uh, you know, cars that were labeled geo drill, and I saw okay. people working there. Okay. Uh, so this Crofu chief also mentioned the same thing that they want the community levy to be increased because government has increased royalties from 5 to 10, free carried from 10 to 13. Why do you keep the community? A development levy at one percent. So they feel cheated. Uh, they feel, yeah, I mean, they want government to increase it from mm. one to at least three, because they say. And and again, 
they don't want government because the OER chief was telling me they've heard that government wants that one percent to be paid into the consolidated fund. That right. They disagree. Uh, they vehemently oppose that. They, they believe it will get lost, eh? That's what they said. Uh, okay. They said they don't want it to get into a consolidated fund so that when they need something, they will tell them, oh, go to the MP, go to the MC, go to the minister. No, 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 no. But how are they going to regulate it? Where so, should it go? To Nananum? They propose that they and the company mm -hmm. should have a joint account. When you say they, is it I the mean, community the chiefs, or the Nananum? The chiefs. The chiefs. Yes. I'm mm -hmm. sure when it comes to the formation, they may include a, an opinion leader from the community so that when they need something to be done, it is not going to a minister or a DC or an MC. They, the committee, will sit down and say, oh, we want to construct a classroom for this community. This is the money. Go in there and do it. They don't want any consolidated fund, anything with this. Okay, so I can, I can understand what they are saying. But on the other end, mm -hmm. while there will be suspicions about putting the money in the pool of the yeah. consolidated fund or maybe giving it to the MP and the rest. Yeah. Um, how can we just trust them? Well, so that's, that's another discussion that probably the community, the state, and the company can have. How do we manage this? Because to them, they don't want the situation of running around people just to get something that belongs to them. Because you say that this is for the community and the development of these communities. And look, a warrior doesn't have a school. The children walk from a way to salt, uh, salt pond to, to school there. So they're even anticipating that once this is coming, at least there will be a school for a warrior. Krofu has a school, but they have a bad road linking a warrior to Krofu. It's, it's, it's like a, a path, um, a footpath. Because if two cars are coming, two cars cannot bypass each other. You have to stand at a certain, because when we're driving there, I mean, I said, what? This is a road leading to Krufu. Mm. It's just a small path. So they are looking forward to something like that, helping them construct a road, you know, between Ewoya and uh, Krufu. Right. The chief of Ewoya told me that Atlantic uh, Lithium has actually presented a contractor to them who is to construct their road from the Sorpon Junction, from Ewoya Junction, which is on the main road, to Ewoya. I mean, that's, that's what he says. So their demands are too, that you have to ensure that you increase the, the development level which is coming to us. And two, where the monies will go is something that they don't, they, I mean, they don't want the consolidated fund. So maybe a discussion as to how they want it managed. They even don't want it to get to the assembly. Okay, and that means they have their suspicions about the money being yeah, exactly, diverted, exactly. right? Yes, yes. And not serving the purpose of the community. But then so, I'm sure others, like I've raised, who also have concerns about the money getting exactly. to them. I, I think it's all about ensuring that you have a robust system so that no one can bypass... Transparency. ...the system. Transparency yeah. is one. But I, I'm, I'm curious, mm -hmm. especially with lithium and everything going on and everyone jumping onto the bandwagon of conversation, I'm curious, are they also looking at responsible mining yeah. are they looking at the sustainability mm. of all of this for future yeah. generations yeah. we we are in many ways in terms of our mineral resources we are we are consuming what is meant for the future today yeah yeah are they looking at the ravages of galamse mm. so that that doesn't happen to yeah. them yeah so all of them all the chiefs i spoke to all the people i spoke to i mean talk about the way this is going to be mined they want to for example for the people of krufu i think there has not been that much consultation with the people so you you listen to them clearly and it tells you that we need to be educated more the chief looks like he's been briefed by the company so he probably understands what's going on but yeah but a briefing from the company with yeah. all respect mm -hmm. the company will say what you want to hear and well, and paint themselves in a good light well, i'm not, let, I'm not let, speaking let, against let me, let me or for in. any company i'm let just me saying this in the, i heard that there's an ngo called friends of the nation i know this they are in Takradi. La, they said last week, Thursday, they were there to do community sensitization about this lithium mining, mm. the dangers it poses to them, mm. what they can do to ensure that they get the best out of this. And so they're all talking about how it's going to be mined. And when it comes to how it's going to be mined, I saw geodrill. And when you see geodrill, it sort of tells it, because geodrill is a drilling company in the mining industry. Mm. They, have, they do a lot of work in Ghana, Burkina, Mali, and co. So when I saw them, I was like, oh, okay, maybe this is not but the, the illegal mining we are thinking about because geodrill, when geodrill is involved, then you know that it's proper drilling they are going to do. But 
look, you cannot leave anything to chance. So the community would have to demand the best of, uh, you know, protection. They are aware that when you start mining, they are, the, the future generations are to be pro, uh, protected. So the chief of Krofu mentioned that they need to educate the people because a lot of the people in Krofu are unskilled. They have not been to school. There is no training. So if you are even going to look for a job, you are going to create it's jobs. Difficult. You have to look at how you can absorb the unskilled people there and look at how you can train the next generation of people. So, I mean, I heard people talk about scholarships, how you can train the younger people of this, of the, the communities to be able to take advantage of the mining and also prepare themselves for tomorrow. So, I mean, in a way, I was told of people who have been trained and have been absorbed. But in Crufol, I didn't hear people say, we have been trained. And in Ewoya, was that on the back of Atlantic? Yes, the, yes, yes. The, yeah. the, the group uh, uh, doing yes, the mining? Yes, yes. So I was told that, I mean, seven years ago when they started, I met one young man whose story I'm going to, I'm going to tell later. Said, I mean, he was picked up by, with a, a, some number of people. They were trained in how to be relevant to the operation, and they were employed. And he says that, <laughs> I mean, he's paid well. That's what he told me. Uh, he mentioned an amount that he received. I'm not sure I can put it out, out here. Definitely. But yeah, uh, I mean, when he said it, on a nominal value, you, you think that, well, this is, this is not a bad salary. But like you say, we're looking at the environmental sustainability of it. And that is something that the people need to be asked. Because you don't want them tomorrow to come and cry, exactly. look, and it's destroying our, yeah. our water bodies. If they have any, it's destroying our land yeah. and all of that. Because, yes, we're talking of, and I, I, I was saying right before we came on, we have history. Yeah. Look at Obwase. Mm. Look at Prestia. Look at some of these mining communities. Yeah. Okay. Yes, they may have some things going on, but you go to some of them and they are like ghost towns. Yeah. So mining is, it, it can be a good thing for the community and sometimes it, it can mean so, really so, nothing. So the chief of Krofu mentioned these communities. Mm. So look at Obwase. Mm. Look at, uh, he even brought in where we have diamond, uh, Akwetia. Akwetia. Mm. And gave, mentioned some negatives yeah. that are associated with that. Yeah. And they expect that, he, may, he says clearly that we didn't start mining today. This is not the first that we're going to mine. So we have to take experiences of that and make sure that we do something different mm. for the people of Ewoya, Krofu, and the other communities. So it looks like they have a plan. They are saying that they are aware because when you go to the communities, they've marked some of the buildings that are to be demolished. So it, to them, they anticipate that they will be relocated. But where are they going to be relocated to? What are the plans? How are you going to do that? Mm. How will it affect them? And how are you taking care of Because again, for the landowners, they tell me that they have not spoken about land at all. Wow. Yeah. So they mentioned that they have not spoken to the landowners about how much they're going Compensation to pay Compensation exactly. and all of that. And they are, they are waiting for that. They, they say they want the hmm. company to come to them to tell them. So in Krofu, for example, I spoke to one landowner who said, so I'm not selling the land to you. You have to tell me how many years you're going to mine and then after which the land will revert to my family because by that right. time I would have been dead and gone. Right. Is the land going to revert to my family or what? So they want that conversation to also happen. So one, how much are you paying us as compensation for taking our land? Two, how many years are you going to mine? They say 15 years, but they, they, they mentioned that, oh, you know, Boise and Takwa like this. They mentioned a number of years, but the mines have mined over that period. Mm. So how long do you anticipate to mine my land? And after war, afterwards, is it coming back to me, the landowner and my family? Because I'll be out there, but I'll have my younger ones there who could take it. So those sort of conversations have also not happened. Okay. And they are looking forward to that happening. It, it, it appears there are still conversations to be oh, yeah. had a lot, this, a, a lot from of the standpoint of Nananoma and even yeah. whether this money, the 1% goes into the consolidated fund. They even want more, up to yeah. about 3%, 3%, where it should go, yeah. a joint account with Nananoma and maybe some... Um, stakeholders in the yeah. community, voices for the community and yeah. all of that. But that's a conversation that I think with time yeah. uh, will be had. One thing I will say though before we conclude, in some of these instances, mm -hmm. so whatever it is, I'm not citing these specific groups, but sometimes too, you would have some of these leaders, uh, spokespeople in communities, yeah. and they want to do certain things a certain way because of their own stomachs yeah. and their own interests. Yeah. And it doesn't really trickle down to the community. Mm. And that, if we find out, of course, we will not, oh, sure, sure, sure. Um, you know, uh, gloss over exactly. as well. But yeah. wonderful work you keep doing, going into those 
hard to reach communities and bringing these very relevant uh, stories. Kujup, thank you so much. Welcome. And that's how.